guys welcome to our live sorry i'm super late i tried to find uh an inspo what match in my head and i couldn't i couldn't i want to do ocean team today and there's no work close to what i have in mind but that's like <laughs> that's the best i can find so just know that it's it's gonna be ocean it's just not gonna be this ocean <laughs> um and i also bump into this which not for today, but at some point, we gotta go ahead and do that using texture of that gel too. It's kinda pretty, but uh, not today. Today, um, I'm doing ocean theme, just not that one. I tried to find it. I, I spent a long time finding it, but I couldn't find anything. Okay, so that is for today. It's ocean theme. So give me just a second and I will uh, connect to the other page. Oh, uh, yes, gel now. We are using bubble effect with this. We are using sugar gel. We are using uh, clear silicone. But I want to make like an octopus, like a golden octopus arms. So I want to use uh, clear silicone for that. And I want to chrome the octopus arm. Um, oh, yes, normally I have such good like inspo pictures. But today I, I just... I'm, I was last minute, and I tried to find a beach picture. I thought that it would be easier. No, it's not. It's not easy. Okay, so I will post my website. Product is at www.tinovo.shop, and I will include Kyla information. Kyla phone number is 417 Four zero two zero. You can call her for. I mean, you can text her for like uh, shopping or shipping question. Anything about coupon code or um or, or uh, when the shipment arrives, stuff like that. But don't ask her about nail product. Ask me about nail product, but don't ask her about nail product. Okay, I'm kind of in a hurry doing my hair today too. So you know what, baby, you still beautiful in my way. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna connect myself. Give me just a second. Okay. Oh. Yes. See, it's a second day with a second screen. Is it okay? <laughs> second day with second screen. Oh, I posted yesterday live on YouTube. You can watch it live on YouTube. I already posted. Hi, everyone. So we are doing ocean theme today. Uh, this year technique will be different than last year. Last year I have 3D jelly. Um mix it with a little bit of white so it's a uh, sheer white and then um or actually gel polish mix a little white so like it's like up white and then people take 3d jelly and they drop little droplet in the 3d jelly uh this is gonna be different because uh sometimes people have um especially beginner they couldn't balance the 3d jelly and it drip on them and and all that so i'm uh having an update um technique on ocean happy valentine you guys listen say happy valentine happy uh, this morning well, like oh. multiple times well, yeah, um, okay so happy. let me see hi may hello may welcome welcome everyone to our page okay let me see Nails ready. Okay. Hola, Esmeralda. Okay, now, uh, oh. Yeah. Hello, hi, uh, hi, Messia. 
where do you get your feminine lamp? So, uh, Lee Aesthetic Room, I'm getting my lamp at canvasshop.co. I'm going to text down here really quick. So make sure you catch it before it disappear. Canvasshop.co. <coughs> okay, so that's that. If you see the, my text right there, canvasshop.co, click on it. So that's where I get my lamp. It's about $200. But completely still, it's going to last you for a lifetime. Hola, uh, well, hola, Jessica. Yes. Yeah, we're yes. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's just going to last you for a long, long time. Hey, hello, Cat Claus. Hola, hola, Alex. I'm new. I can't wait to watch you. Oh, welcome. Well, oh, Casey, Chip. We we are so in the KC uh, chief uh, um, territory. Territory. We're in Missouri. Everyone here is a big KC chief. And there's new people watching, so we would like to begin this by saying we would only apologize for offending you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Beware about <of our> sarcasm. <laughs> okay. And congratulations uh, on KC chief for winning. All right. Now, ocean team gonna be okay. So I want to send the ocean octopus gonna be right in the middle. Okay. And let's say hi to everyone all at once. Yes, yes. Awesome. Hi, Diana. Okay. So this one and this one gonna be ocean. This one is gonna be ocean too. Actually, let's make it our ocean first. Well, so, welcome to the family ITG jewelry. This is shadow. Okay, it's a black gel polish. Um, you, if you have your own black gel, you can apply a layer of black gel on, and then you can get like a chrome base or a chrome top. It's the same thing. It's a top. Um, apply it on so you can put chrome on. Um, since shadow is no white. I just gonna go ahead and chrome shadow right away after it's cure since it's no white. So if your gel is no white, then it's gonna save you a layers up top, top coat. I'm applying very, very thin here. Okay, all of it. He is a very feminine boy. Oh, no, thank wait, you. Wait, not, not boy, not boy. Young man, because of the boy that made me a pedophile. I, I, I sound like I sound like a a boy's clear voice. I would say neither boy or girl. Let's go with God. Let's go with God. I tell my friend, I say, is my voice sound like a woman? And she say, Don't flatter yourself. You sound like a girl. <laughs> okay. So I am gonna lie on here, Kia. Ooh, how to perfect manicure. Okay. Cool. This right here. All the way down. And we're sending our love to you too, Karen. Yes, Karen. Thank you quite a bit. Hi, Karen. Karen, in here? She said, thank you for sharing the family fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Appreciate us both much. Thank you, Karen. It's going to be really hard right now. So it's our job to keep her distracted. Yes. So we're giving you homework, Karen. So, so, so. Let's start with our three color chrome. That would be that would be fun and interesting. Our three color chrome, using blue chrome. Okay. This. okay. Good morning, Cinelco and TLC. Hello, Cinelco and TLC. Okay, our clean chrome right away. Now, just like I say, if you have a like a sticky, uh, like a sticky gel. 
you can totally um, apply this here and then put on the top so uh, I have a chrome base right here you don't already have it uh, if you have your own top go go ahead and put it on and then chrome here and then chrome but I don't need uh, another top coat because it's no white. I'm getting out three colors. It's teal. So I'm getting teal out. Okay. Now I'm getting ultramarine. You guys are familiar with it. We have these two colors forever. These are the new colors. This right here, I call it blue because it is the true blue. Right in the middle. What brand are these nails from? Um, these nails are from me. Um, you can get it at uh, Tino Voda shop in the essential category. I only carry two shapes, stiletto and coffin, XXXL. Only two shapes and one side, because that's the side I want is a long side. And for the newcomers, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, there's a lot of qualified people here that will also help because we're a big family yes and if we don't get to it re-ask it mm -hmm. and at the end of the live if we miss anything at all no worry you can just end you can just question on the comment because i read comment i read comment whenever i spot our question i always answer it what do you call the nail stand with the magnet uh, what now? The nail stand with the magnet, the little holders. Oh, oh, these are the nail stand. I don't carry white, I carry gold. It's also in the essential category. However, uh, later on, I might have white and black. All right. So if you don't have any of these chrome, then I suggest getting the blue chrome because this is my new favorite. I like this a lot. Because if you want this, um, if you don't have this, you might be able to mix this with silver chrome to make somewhere close to this. So, I index fingers. I put in the blue chrome right in the middle. You like it? I do. Okay. This is the metal fingers, also blue chrome. And I applied it kind of like diagonally. Um, th however, the pattern you want is up to you. Um, I applied it in a specific order as dark, medium, light, from cuticle to free edge. Um, however, you want to twirl or move it, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. I just like applied it like diagonally, kind of like diagonally, like this. All right, so after I apply our color chrome, what I want is, you see this right here where it's really sharp? Could I wrap it? It's, so it's really, really sharp right here. I'm about to blend this with another colors. Let's say this color right here, I want it to be on top. If you blend it in right now, you're going to have two distinctive colors, which is doable but unattractive. So what I do is I have some blue chrome with me. I slowly tap lightly. What it does is it just lands on the surface and it just lay loosely on the surface but because I lightly tap I can easily ombre this could you use Aurora chromes you can mm -hmm. with this um, whatever chrome you use is up to you I use solid chrome because I want to use the blue color you can use anything blue and um, unicorn chrome Aurora chrome whatever blue you want to use you can you can definitely use that now do you see the difference between the top and the bottom? You see the top is all ombre out nicely. Now, you have to be careful because this powder is not completely adhered to the nail yet. It will only adhere solidly when I rub it like this. Okay. But when I dab it like this, it just lay on the surface. So be very careful and I will continue in a second when I'm done with all this I will tell you to be careful on what 
so for now i'm just blend out the edge blur out the edge is why i, I caught it blurred it out Blur. just lightly tap it like up here i have a little bit of powder so i don't mess with what up here anymore i mess with what down here just to add some more powder into it see that okay just record Quite a tiny bit of practice, not much, probably a, a probably thirty minute of practice, and you'll be good to go on this. Just tap it out lightly to ensure that it looks like an ombre, and then in between, tap it with a little pressure to make sure that it's all blended out nice. Oh, nice! See that way different than this. See. And that is my favorite way to do when I work with multiple chrome, because I do want a smooth transition. Mm -hmm. So just tap it lightly like this. Okay, one last nail. So I make sure I explain thoroughly in the last nail. See this? I'm tapping this lightly. Look at the edge. Very light, right? Now, you see the metal? Between the blur line and the sharp line, you see this right here? I tap in the metal with more, more pressure so it's all fading out. See that? Again, last one. Tap lightly and then give a little more pressure in the metals. Okay, see that? Now, we're going to move on to another color. So this is the important part. Mm -hmm. Blue. I kind of wipe lightly on a paper towel. See no more color left. See no more color left. I move on to the second color now. I'm choosing the deepest ultramarine. Now. You see where the powder is loose. If I take this and I go in and I rub it right away, I may be able to move this powder and that's not good because this powder now is all laying nice and even on the surface, but it's not adhered yet. You can move that. You can shift it around. So with this blue, I only go in and dab like this. I don't, I don't rub yet. Lightly dab it just so it can go in between these little particles right here. See that? Now, after you dab it, okay, make sure that you dab a few more times just so it can adhere in. Now, both color is in evenly, okay? You can start to rub, gently rub it. Makes sense. Continue. All colors. I kind of like that top color better. This is ultramarine. Mm -hmm. If I have to, and you don't have to do three color, you can do just one. I just do three color just to show you a chrome ombre. Um, if you have to put one color chrome on the nail, I would like the color in the middle, the blue. If you just have one color, only one color. Or three colors and I need ultramarine and teals. But just one color, I think the prettiest is blue. But, you know, really the beauty is up to the beholder. So it's up to you to decide which color is pretty. Yeah. Hi, Coco Bunny. The team today that we're doing is ocean. Uh, we're using a new technique on the ocean that last year. We're using um, silicone, silicone, clear silicone to do a 3D octopus arm. And then uh, we're gonna do starfish and all that too. And then bubble effect also will be used today. Yes, all products that Tino will be using from here on out will be on his website. Yes. Okay, now Chrome up down here too. 
we don't have to fill up the tips because on the tips they're going to be sandy. Thank you, Shata. Yes, Coco, I'm just side the Coco Bunny. You can do an octopus arm, and it's easy too. It's not difficult. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the tip too, why not? How do you suggest to mix chrome colors together? Oh, um, okay, so I'm going to explain why I'm doing this. And then when I'm done, I'm going to show you. So when you mix two chrome color together, you need a surface that um, can grab onto the chrome, but did not absorb the chrome. You can use it. Uh, when I first started, I used Viva paper towels to surface right here it pours it enough that it can soak in the chrome but it's not like sponges where it's it take the chrome you can it's gonna just lay on the surface and you can use it or you can apply on your skin like makeup because several lady when they do eyeshadow that um couple of my friends that do eyeshadow they also apply makeup on this part of their hand right here just to you know, blend the color, mix the color, whatever. So when I watch my friend doing this, I also um, have an idea of use that for Chrome too. So if you want, you can use this surface of your hand. This is my wrist right here. So on, on this or on right here, you can put Chrome right here too because your skin is poor enough to hold Chrome, but it's not taking Chrome. So several ideas for you to mix Chrome in. Hi, Nels by Re. In school watching you work, hopefully. I don't get caught. Oh, <laughs> Iris. <laughs> I decided to answer a question by typing it in. Uh huh. Misspelled Springfield. Oh, Lord. but you type it in? I did, I did. Oh, that's great. <gasps> that's great. I didn't know that system, but whatever. I didn't know about um, <clears throat> that answer and question system. But that would be more convenient. Yeah. Then I can talk. Can everybody see it? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's great. Tia, lab allow you learn more from Tino than from school. As long as you see a nail artist doing nail, you learn more from them than from whatever it is you learn in school. Because in school, what it is, is it's a system where you have to learn step. So by learning those steps, it's prevent you from getting in um getting fined and fee and all that when you violate a rule or when you did not sanitize your thing properly, stuff like that. Um, holding customer hands, stuff like that. But uh and the basic of acrylic and the basic of gel and all that. But the art, the art of not very likely that will be in school because again, it's art. It's not um it's not necessary needed to be passed in the test, you just need to learn what they taught to pass the test. But when you pass the test and have your license, now that is a time when you have to know the art to make money, right? If not, then you just, you just doing basic thing. We still make money, but not a lot. Look at that chrome, beautiful. Three color chrome, even just this is enough, but this is just a background. We don't feel like it's enough. <laughs> oh, by the way, okay. Now I am going to you ink, so I need to top this to secure this. Um, the ink that I'm gonna use is white ink. I'm using white art ink, super potent. My nail guy gets so mad when I ask for something you do because it takes time. It takes time, but if you willing to pay him a little extra or not a little extra, maybe a lot extra, he'd be happy, he feel encouraged. Or maybe show him, show him my lesson, just uh, just for him to learn. But you know, I mean, it should depend on the nail tech. If, if he like a little popular in town, he would get a little offended. If you, you know, tell him, oh, hey, learn this, learn this, he would get a little offended. But it depend on the nail tech. If he willing to learn, then he will be able to make Beautiful nail for you. 
Gotta pay him though. Gotta pay and, him and, and encouraged. And encouraged. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why ink? Right here. Now, I am gonna use sticky to put one coat on this because if I put ink on here right now, this is raw chrome, it will ruin it right away. So I'm gonna put one coat of sticky on and that will help it from chipping. See something new I just learned this week. So I'm gonna apply it on. You can use a uh, UV primer, you can use a tack gel, you can use a base coat as long as it's not ruining your chrome. Because sometimes there is base coat that are ruining uh, people chrome due to the ingredient that they have that are um, not suitable for chrome or pigment. Hear this. But normally what I would do is that I would take top coat and I would secure it before I use ink. But this technique on sealing chrome that I just learned make me change my way entirely. Now instead of top coat, I'm just applying one coat of this to secure this. But this is not a finished coat by all means. If you want to finish it, you still have to put top coat on this. Make sure that you get the edge very well. And remember, you can always learn and improve. Yes. Um, what is sticky? Sticky is not a top coat. It is considered a base gel. However, um, it's not like a base coat. It's, it's a sticky that you can adhere to anything thin. I will name several items for you. Foil is number one. Flowers, dry flowers, number two. Also work with many, many form of confetti, meaning sticker, I mean not sticker, glitters, but in shape like flower shape, heart shape. It's also workable with that too. Um, glad sheet, anything that are like a, like a unicorn sheet or unicorn film it works really good with film so anything that are thin enough that it can adhere on because before sticky i was using a base coat here this i was using a base coat to adhere and that is a different type of stickiness to it because the other one is sticky but it's wet like if i take my finger i touch it it's wet on my finger. So with that, when um, a film or dry flower lay on the surface, it might come up because it's still wettish. It's not completely dry. This sticky is completely dry. It's still ticky, the surface is still ticky. If you stick your finger in it, it might your finger might stuck a little in it. So it's very sticky. However, it's a dry kind of sticky. There's no residue. After it's polymerized, there's no residue on it. This is a hardest selling product this month. And that and pigment base. Sticky and pigment base is a hardest selling product. Okay, now all now is secure. Now I can feel okay now. I'm gonna wipe this up and I wanna warn you that when I'm gonna wipe it up, it's not gonna look shiny. Okay, that doesn't mean that the shininess go away. It just see is a bay, it's not a shine. So when I wipe it up, it's gonna be a little dull, but the shine will return when I wrap top coat on it. So I will wipe it up, see how dull it is. So it's trust the process. See how dull it is? Now I just for you to um feel safe, I am gonna apply a top coat on just for you to see. Now see, this is really dull right now, okay? See this? See, it shine again, okay? So, you can feel safe now, looking at this surface. Wipe Knowing, it. yes. Acetone or alcohol? Acetone, acetone, just wipe it up, just like this. I just joined. What are we doing today? Today we are doing ocean love. Mm, ocean treasure. Ocean, ocean treasure. Mm -hmm. Ocean treasure. Or sea sex for Valentine's? No, no, ocean treasure. Okay, just treasure. Yeah, but in Valentine, 
is the only day of the year when I'm the most appropriate. <laughs> I'm very appropriate in Valentine. Mm. Any other day, I, I couldn't guarantee you. The sluttiness might come out. But Valentine, I'm very appropriate. Like a virgin. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this up. Could you shine it also? Um, that's what they, I... They don't have stick it yet? Yes, yes. You can use shine it also. Um, so the purpose of shine it, if you use shine it, is that it just per protect the chrome so you can put uh, ink on it but uh, I put sticky on um, for the reason that it's also protect the chrome but it's also adheres the chrome too it's adhere to the chrome and the top coat can adhere to it if you don't have sticky uh, pick up a base coat and use it as long as it's not ruining your chrome <clears throat> can you wipe with alcohol you can you can take no, a little slower you just use acetone because it's quicker yeah yeah, you can use alcohol, definitely. Definitely. Alcohol can be your best friend. I just use some because it's quick for me. White ink. Now, I need some acetone right here on a cup. Okay. So next step, I'm going to make marble ink, which is very easy. Oval brush is what I use. Okay, now. Zoom in. With this white ink, the moment you apply it, I suggest you work immediately. Don't let it to, to be too dry. It'll be a little weird. It'll be weird looking. So I just lather some on. Make sure you leave some space for the shine around it too. Now with, a, with the oval brush and acetone, I go ahead and touch around the surface of it <clears throat> just to uh break away that sharpness on the edge see now because so what did he say sticky does again i heard it here to chrome and miss the rest mm -mm. protect the chrome protect uh -huh. but sticky is sharp it adheres anything that are thin anything that are thin it's very similar with foil gel if you have you have a you foil gel sticky is like that it's very similar with foil gel. Okay, now I am gonna dig a little hole throughout here. I'm gonna dig tiny little hole. Right here, another one. Okay, right here. Okay, now I go back a little bit and I make sure that enough white ink is gone that I can see the, the shininess of the chrome in the back again. Okay. Same thing right here. You make that look so easy. See the the sharp edge all around it? It looks like I just splash some paint on it. So I'm touching the sharp edge just to make sure I fade away that sharp edge. See all the edge around it? Put some acetone just to wash it away. See all around the edge. In circular motion or dab in motion, whichever you do, don't have too much acetone. Just make sure all the edge is faded out like this. Okay, and then go in and dig this little hole. This little hole. Put it in paper towel so it soaks up all my acetone and let, let this 
I'm going in, right? I'm soaking it up on a paper towel, and I go in back. And with a dry brush, it will soak up all these leftover ash on the on the surface. So if you ever have too much ash stone like right here, okay, dab on the paper towels, go back with a dry brush, it will soak up everything. Again, take in one little hole right here, dab it on a paper towel, go back with a dry brush, soak up everything. Easy enough. Still have two more though. So if you miss it, no worry. I'm gonna see it again. It's already looking like water reflection. Thank you. Oh, around the edge. Make sure that it's not look like you just splash paint on. See, like that is already look good. Now you're going back in the metals. You dig this little hole. So it doesn't look, look like you just take white paint and you splash it on. It look like a part of underneath the waters. Oh, especially this one look extra pretty. Upon your eye, just make sure, fade the edge, number one. Number two, dig in hole. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all you need to remember. Again. See that? Just splash on. Then you go back. You go around it. Uh, around the edge. Edge and, and don't go in one fluid motion. Just, just have a little piece right here. Have a little piece right here. Okay. Don't go like this. Don't go from top and all the way to the bottom. Don't don't do that. You just fade a little part right here. Just stay there. Don't go anywhere. And then here another one. That is one of the important um key that not a lot of people get. A lot of people want to go from top and all the way to the bottom. So when you're done, you still have a, a long line. What you want is to fade it out of the edge. So you want to break the line apart. You don't want to emphasize in it. Is that alcohol ink? Um, no, this is art ink. So art ink is stronger than alcohol ink. Um, you can take your, if you have white alcohol ink, you can take it to test it first to see if it's strong enough. If it's strong enough, you're good to go. If it's not strong enough, then you have to get art ink. Art ink is a calligraphy ink. I choose to have this instead of alcohol ink because alcohol ink, I can only do marble. Well, art ink, I can do smoke too, along among many things. Mm -hmm. But my, my first impression is smoke because, <laughs> because back in the day, smoke was popular, but alcohol in couldn't do that so that is why i made this i made this for like two years now it's always a good seller where is um buffer buffer yeah oh over there okay all right another quick question maybe um when you are complete and model your nails what kind of glue do you use oh okay so when I'm modeling my nails, um, I use an adhesive tab. So an adhesive tab, let me show you. So this is one brand of adhesive tab that I use. I glued it on to my nails so I can pop that on because then I can pop it up easy. Glue, I have to soak it up, which I don't like. So I use this. But for a night out, out on the town. A lot of people use an adhesive tab now today because they spend so much money to buy press on, they want to save it. Like if you spend $300 for a set of press on, then you don't want to wear it just one time or two times. You want to keep wearing it. Well, those are special occasions. Now. So, yeah, what they do is that they take glue and they glue the tap to their nails. So the tap is. 
glue that to their nail. And then they just take the press on and they just, just stick it onto the top. So later on, they can take it off. They can take it off and everything will be the same and they can switch now in between. Actually, I'm still a little bit of this uh, kind of walking out. I want to take care of this now before I move any further. Hopefully, I don't take away the chrome. Good. Looking good now. All right. Very gentle and accurate. Gentle, yes. All right. So last year, what I have is clear um, milky gel. And then people take 3D jelly, they just drop in the metal. Like, um, I feel like I need to show you. So last year, I will have, um, I have milky gel and I will tell them to apply on the whole nails. Okay, sorry if it ugly. Okay, apply on the whole nail. And then they would drop 3D jelly in. So one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop. So they drop it in, right? And in the end, this surrounding right here, that is a um, water texture, like forming textures, water texture, re water reflection. Okay, so this year we're going to do something different because uh, sometimes people couldn't handle the weight of the 3D jelly, especially beginner. They couldn't balance it and it trip on them everywhere. And then it's a little bulky, they have to fire it. So I have other solution. Um, I'm going to use milk. Milk right here. If you don't have milk, you just take top coat mixed with a little white. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna take milk. Milk is no white too. And I am also let me try just milk just to see if it's enough. If it's not enough, then I mix in a little white. She loves your work and thank you for sharing. Oh, can you do the nail bag? Okay, so I'm going to use 10 millimeter. Let's, uh, let's draw one circle right here. Okay, so milk is doable. I don't need to strengthen it anymore with um some white polish or some white ink. I don't need to. But if you want, you can draw some white ink into here that will also make it more frosty so one big circle two big circle beside it okay and then three big circle beside it or smaller circle if you want you can have a few small one right here just circle guys Draw in circle like this. Small, small, big circle side by side. Because when you're done, you're going to feel all this space in between. Feel it all in. Mm -hmm. Just in between, the space in between. You don't have to pay much attention in the bottom because I'm going to have some sand <laughs> right here. So now when you're done with the circle, you go in between and you feel all the space. So I'm not feel, you feel it up. Make sure everything is nice and ground. Okay. Now you're here, and I will continue with all of this. Okay. Thank you, Ashley, Cherry. Thank you. Hola, Christina Nails. Hola, Inspiracion Nails. I feel like we were doing red. We could convert this into a Freddy Krueger Halloween face. Yeah. Cool uh, how long do you cure for? Uh, 60 seconds. 
Hello, Germany. Four key, sixty seconds. Hello, Germany. Hello. Uh, yes, we try to do daily class lives. Mm -hmm. I have another live tomorrow. Kill this. We try to keep a general. Oh, hola, Yadina Nails. Hola, mi amor. Tora, uh, Tora, see that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, maravilla. Oh, gracias, Yadina Nails. Gracias. Hello, Hell's Nails, one of our favorites. Yes. Oh, yes. Hell's Nails. Today I'm using bubble effect. Isn't that what she asked? Bubble effect. Hmm. Somebody else asked for bubble effect one time, a long time ago. Possibly. Possibly. I just didn't want to reflect on my memory. Yeah. The, the important thing to remember is Some... she is a great cook. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. It will be a day we'll show up at her door. She'll be like, oh my goodness. We'll do like Publishers Clearinghouse. <laughs> You've won a dinner with Tino and you're cooking. Cause you know, sometimes people ask, um, oh, how you bubble effect? How you use this? And and I wasn't, um, I, I haven't get there yet. I haven't uh, ready to do that these done yet. Uh, so uh, this is the first time I'm you bubble effect in a long time, actually, since Halloween. Here it is. I think I did something in Christmas using my perfect too. I forgot. And you, you know, Cassie, she says that she envies your speed and looks like she's slow when she's working. But you know, oh, she's no. giving you the steps. Oh, so yeah. You don't have to really think. So your speed will come. Don't worry, Cassie. You just don't blink. Don't blink because one of these days you're there and you can look back. That is just a matter of time, really. You know, I just actually invoked the memory of you one time. Mm -hmm. Playing all those, remember your metrodome phase? Mm -hmm. You know what, Cassie? One of the tricks for speed is not by your hand in motion. You know, sometimes people think, oh, if you're acting really fast, if I move really fast, I'm going to be fast. No, it's not that. It's just it's by the way you remember the layers. Because when a person don't uh, remember the layer, they have to backtrack it in their mind. That might take a little up time. That and making mistake, making mistake also will take a little up time up, up your work too. And even though sometimes you make mistake and then you erase it really quick and you think, oh, that's just like thirty second. That's not a lot of time. Or oh, trust me, that's a lot of time because if you type. If you are a typer, you know, you know that if even at the semi slow speed, if you don't make mistake, your your word count per minute gonna be way higher than if you type really fast but you are way backspace, you know, that, that also will make your uh word count really slow. So if you learn typer before, then you should know very well that not making mistake will save it a lot and a lot of time. Also, remember layer, it's just like typing. Oh, my big fan from Vietnam, my notebook now. Hello. Hello from Vietnam. My notebook now. Um, I only been doing now for one year. Oh, <laughs> that just started. There's gotta be a passion behind it. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I'm done, I need stained glass gel number seven. Stained glass gel number seven is an ocean blue. It's a thin layer, not enough to make everything blue, just enough to take up um, the whiteness of it. So you can tell that it's belong in the ocean. You try to make it as realistic as possible. Okay. See the difference? Mm -hmm. 
just a slight different, but make all the different. This look fake. This, it it look like it's almost there. See that? This it look a little fakeish. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna boost stained glass check on all of them. Yes, deep water. Deep waters. <laughs> yeah, the ocean can be the best thing ever or can be really scary. To depend, you gotta respect it. I love the ocean. I want I want to I want to die on on an ocean. Like when I retire, I want to live near water. I want my retirement life to be on waters near the ocean. It's healing. The ocean always heal me. I love to sit near the beach. I just get lost. I just I don't think about anything else when I at the beach. I just my soul just get lost in it. Look how beautiful. Okay, we had a I missed the last step. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so far, what I have done is I have a chrome background. I'm using three color chrome to ombre. Then, after I color chrome, I uh, secure my chrome with my gel sticky. I secured it. And then I cured it and wipe up everything. So now you have a beautiful chrome background. Then I use ink. My art ink right here, I use it to make wave marbleized uh, wave in the background and then i take milk to do tiny to do big and small little circles see one big circle small circle and then i fill all the space in between the circle now i add in stained glass gel just to add a skin on it that's all this is one already finished curing mm -hmm. Okay, a few seconds, upside down. Now, I'm gonna put it in. Letting the gravity do its work? Yes. Wow, hydrating yourself. Oh, that. thank you. Speaking of water, it's raining aggressively and the dogs are having a heyday. I wish one day I can buy my own island because we grew up in a village. It's, it's, a, it's a beach. It's a big scene. It's very secluded. It's very beautiful. Um, it's a village. Um, the people were poor, but extremely happy. Everyone is happy. Uh, of course, we always want a better thing in life than rather than stay exactly where we are. So the last year that I live in Vietnam, uh, developers have come in and they offer people big chunks of money. So they can buy off our beachfront property. Of course, poor villager uh, with a temptation of low cash, they sell all the property. My grandmother's house is a restaurant now. It's pathetic. Uh, everything there is just so much noise, so much vendors. It's, it's ridiculous. So like America. Yeah. So, so even if I come back, I cannot, I cannot get to where I used to, to, to be. I cannot... You know, it's not, I, the same it's not the same. So that play is forever uh, just a figment of my memories. And my definition of being successful in life is to be able to um, bring back that part of my memories to feel the way I used to feel. And um, with that, it, it, if I can buy my own island, that'd be awesome. Because I, I don't like to that's, that's what I keep thinking too, Marlene. We gotta speak it into the existence. Yeah. I don't like touristy. I like when I go to Florida or California, I'm on the beach, I don't feel it. Because that's people everywhere. I it's not where I used to live. I used to live in a um secluded environment. Get an island for Tito. Yes. Uh quick question for a few people. They wanna know why you turned it upside down. Oh, um, so when you put, um, especially liquid gels on the surface, so if you look at the surface, it's not a flat surface, you guys. Look at this. Look at the surface. It's not a flat surface. 
it's a curved surface so if liquid on your surface it will drip down on the side because of gravity gravity will pull it so if you have liquid gel for a long time and it stay here wet for a long time you will most likely create like a like a love handle you know a love handle yeah like the side it, it get bigger and it's very unattractive so when you put it upside down what happened is gravity will pull the gel from the side back to the center either that or you can take a tour like i'm using the mixer tour you can also take a mixer tour and wipe your hand wipe wipe uh, your side on both sides or sometimes when i use gloves i just take my hand and i just whip from the side that's all just multiple way of doing it just however you want you can either do this you can do this or you can do this just whatever okay now um the reason why i clean this it's just because there's some dust on the surface and there is some uh some of the particle on the surface i just want to make sure that it's kind of nice and smooth before i continue do you think press on sets is better solution for new clientels and with a little back that she's been practicing for a year just kind of building her confidence okay um press on set is more suitable for new clientele okay i don't know anything about that all i know is that when you sell in a set of press on the moment that set of press on going out the door you have no longer have any responsibility on that as long as you can look at that press on set and say oh that's beautiful i want this she take it out the door it's all up to her now there are no such thing like coming back and say oh is this one break break or is this one lip no that's her press on now so so that is what i know is that it's safer for you all you need to do is do some art you send them down the door well with, with some of the stuff she just wrote mm -hmm. it would be uh, her time issue i think is, is her biggest problem so mm. what's happening is she's new she's right. still under the pressure of other people's time limits so my suggestion press be, on is because she said it works good Everyone says press it's on. I would say stick with press, press on. on. Keep people out of it. Keep press on. Your peace and serenity, and save up for an island, and then give it to us. <laughs> press on. Yeah, definitely. If if you uncomfortable with people and their timing, I suggest you do press on. Um, when I started, I feel the same way. I understand how um what you're going to, and it's so annoying because you love in the art. But you're here for the art and you take all the time you need but you know people they move and then they have things to do mm -mm. and possibly influence your designs mm -hmm. i now i have set time for people because i know i'm gonna be done in two hours two and a half hours i'm gonna be done but for if you not control your timing well then press on is just perfect for you because you can take all your time in the world you can take a break in between. You can even reconsider a certain pattern when you're done. Mm -hmm. Yes, go with press on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now. I see the press on industry and then people having a personal press on artists becoming the next new thing because right. we are turning into a lazy world that doesn't want to really go anywhere. So now I'm going to make the 3D octopus. Three-dimensional octopus. Okay. I have to think of how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to draw two nails. And that also what Karen said is preparation is truly the key to success. Yes. Okay, if I have an octopus. We probably eat it.
Okay. All right, so I'm going to make an octopus now. Please say thank you for your time and advice. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I prefer to view my fingers. View my finger right now because I like clear, to use clear silicone with my fingers. So I'm going to have some sanded and I am going to totally tackle all of this. Totally taco. Yeah. That's kind of catchy. Thank you. Education in Spanish? No, no. I upload a book to Espanol. No puedos, uh, um, no puedos, uh, no tengo el cosos en Espanol. Pero luego, luego, uh, um, puedo luego, uh, pero, pero, um, uh, entiendes, um, entiendo, uh, más españoles en la escuela, en la escuela, escuela, escuela y school, I hope. Did you just tell them in Spanish you can't speak in Spanish? Mm hmm. That would seem so unfair. I know, right? Do you have enough time to go learn my Spanish? But they do have technology, so they should be able to just get the uh, Alexa and just. Yeah, but the English that I speak is like. I'm not sure Alexa can understand me. You know, I, I agree. She doesn't hear. Me can talk to Espanol. Oh, gracias. Delica nails. Gracias. Tan bello algún día que Siria said to Aluma. Mm, I think that's mean what day am I going to write? Todos los días. Todos los días a la once. Yeah, he does. Yeah, you are practicing Spanish here, actually, on occasion. I am. You need. You need to teach me something new. Okay. This way. Every time I go live, teach me one thing. Okay. So today I want to learn what what is how to say kid kid yeah. kid now kid. Sure. So how to say kid? That's all I want to learn today. Just for today. Portuguese. Yes. I will learn Portuguese too. I'm very good with, with language in general. I'm a very fast learner in language. I want to learn Spanish, not Spanglish. <laughs> yeah, teach me how to say kid. Okay, so all out. Okay, now I'm going to use my clear silicone. Hello, old friend. Oh, wait, this new friend. It's not old friend. <laughs> Uh, baked? Baked? No, no. I said uñas. I, uñas hermoso. Oh, gracias. No, show me how to say kid. I haven't seen kid yet. Bake? No, kid. Kid. In Spanish. Dry it. Yeah, in Spanish. Kid in Spanish. Okay. Curado. Oh, curayo. Curayo. Oh, curayo. Curayo ahora. Tu, tu curayo ahora para, um, para, how to say, 60 second, curala. segundo. Curala. Oh, curalo? No, don't listen to me. You know, I can't get it. Curalo. Curalo ahora. Okay. So, Okay, so 3D, um, uh, clear silicone. Curalo. 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 Curalo, ahora, por favor, por 
for segundos, but uh, how to say uh, 60 or 30, but with word, in word, like um, siete, siete. Sima. Uh, diez, diez, vente, uh, treinta, treinta, cuarenta, 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 cincuenta, sesenta, 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 um, corralo, sesenta, segundos, por favor, mi amor, ahora. <laughs> okay, so, just like clay those. Okay, the thing about this gel is it's not sticky at all. Like at all. It's not sticky at all. See that? Now, but if you lift it laying there for about 10 seconds, it will kind of, it will be sticky to the background. And the reason why is this gel, even though it's solid, it is not non-cell level. It is cell level and it's cell level fast too. Within a minute, it'll be completely smooth and clear. It's the weirdest thing ever. Uh, so it's see, it's like plastic, it's like rubber. Mm. Looks like those noodles in that soup that I like. Yeah. Today we were making birds in that soup. Try to take this out, could. I don't want this to interfere with it, so I'm taking it out. Mm. Wouldn't it like I'm just gonna hold it. Mm -hmm. I swear. Put it right here. So I don't want this to stick. Okay, good. good. Alright, so I am just holding it like a string. Okay. So when I apply Okay, this is right here. Is that silicone gel? Yes, it's clear silicone. Am I ever going to get to play with any of this? You might. You might be able to. I mean, I wasn't an artist growing up, but I had a Play-Doh kid. <laughs> Uh, right. lo máximo. I learned new verb in Spanish today. <laughs> Curalo. I remember Curalos. Matter of fact, all the times I'm bothering you, you can probably give me a little ball of that and keep me going for hours. How do you say don't care yet? Don't care yet. <laughs> in Spanish. Um, no, no. <laughs> Just speaking random. <laughs> I thought that it was no. Uh, nada. 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 It's nothing. It's different than not yet. Okay, you know what? Maybe if we just didn't mention curing, they wouldn't think about it, and then they wouldn't do it. We wouldn't have to say don't cure. Yeah. No, no, no cure. I think they taught you how, honey. Let me see, let me see. No, no. Oh, no, no, curalo. No, no, curalo. Todo vida. Todo vida. Toda vida. Toda vida. Ooh. No, 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 no. I say I learned, I learned Spanish and told. Portuguese, but I can never learn two at the same time. Right. I have to master a language before I move on to a, another one. That's why I want to learn Spanish first because I already learned it 10 years ago. I can pick it up in like six months. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I just have enough fun time too, that's all. Well, we each both want to kind of learn something and I think that before I can learn, I think my best route is French. Because French. it seems very close. Yeah. I'll meet something close. I'm not as smart as you. One about the thing about French is the pronunciation of French. The... What? <laughs> there is this pronunciation where... 
yeah. I tried yeah. to learn French before. Um, that is a little difficult for me. Doesn't mean that I couldn't get it. I just don't study it enough. I mean, I don't practice enough. But the 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 the, the, the throat word, like um, throat words. I have to have a word to say. For an example. Well, that's what we'll try to divide and conquer. I'll take our friend. Like, come on, come on, tell a boo, or come on, tell a boo, or so something, I don't know. Pro uh, word, you know. If you spend French speaker, you so know like what I'm talking about. Bonjour. Is that what you're. Mm, no, there's, there's certain uh, nouns that you have to use your throat. And this is why we're, Jamie says she knows what you mean. I'm not quite sure, but I know that whenever I discover it, uh -huh. then I'll re realize how funny this is. See, guy, see this, see this? Look how clear it is. Look how clear it is. I have you, my fingers, I have, like, rub it, it have all kind of finger mark on it, but look, it's cell level right away. Crazy. Now, let's see. Now, now, I need to make the tentacle for it. But before, I need to put these now together to see how it look. Man, I like it. I might need one more. I might need one more. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's more there's words that you empathize with your throat. Yes, I, I can do it. I can do it. Oh, goody glamour girls! Here. I can do just anything. I can do it. I, I just have to practice. That's all. You know, you're good and capable of anything you set your mind to. Yes, I can do it. I want to master all language. No, not all language. Um, my friend Jenny now on seven. Should Jenny know um five different language? Seven. Seven seven different language. Crazy. But because we only know a couple, we're not sure she actually does. She could just be making it. Man, up. she be know? she be speaking to Spanish speaker. She she's she cop out Spanish, cop out Chinese, she cop out Cambodian. Cambodian. That's amazing. Yeah. Vietnamese. I mean I like what in the world? I didn't really expect. They love the pink gloves. We're from Springfield, Missouri. Marlene said happy birthday, by the way, or happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you. No, boss said she's awesome. I took her class. But we always have a lot of fun. <laughs> Now I'm hungry. I don't know why, but for some reason I associate Jenny with food. Every, Jenny every bring me to Dominican stones, food. I see food. Yeah, she she bring me to Dominican restaurant. I love Dominican. Now with this engraver, see this engraver and mixer. With this engraver, I gently poke it, put a hole in it on the side. Um, what was the name of the silicone you're using? Clear silicone. Oh my goodness. Glamour girl is late. She's getting ready to have a baby. <gasps> I knew it was going to lead to this. Yay! I knew it was going to lead to that. Congratulations, glamour girl. Well, you don't know that, honey. She's got, I'm late and it's sad tears. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Uh, no. He does not sell press-ons. <laughs> oh that, my God, there's another one late too. At the selling press-on is a re repetitive business. And uh, I'm into teaching 
with it's not repetitive business it's uh i have something new every time so it doesn't go with what i with my plan mm -hmm. Honey, I, I just figured something out <clears throat> what's that i misread that then mm -hmm. if they were late getting here today uh -huh. no one's having babies they're not missing their oh okay yeah so Good morning, Bonnie Nails, Nicole. Hi, Bonnie Nails. Must be lunchtime. Yeah. Yeah. You can kill this and drop chrome on it. I have a different way of doing it. Because sometimes this is texture that is, well, it's not smooth. You know what I mean? It's not like a flat surface. It's not smooth. So before i tear i rub chrome on it already and then i tear <laughs> a little different i know we're all wanting to play with this stuff a little bit oh yeah mm -hmm. you have to watch all my stuff though because you have to know how to secure this because it's dry like rubber it's very unique it dries like rubber mm -hmm. it's not dry like hot gel it's dry like rubbers one of a very special quality to hold press on it can hold a gel extension very well okay so that is a different texture than this now i am gonna take gold color gold chrome what's my gold chrome this is my gold chrome okay so what I do, because you can cure this, you can cure this, and then you can rub chrome on this, okay? That is what I do in the beginning. <clears throat> so, because I always have a top coat here, rub chrome on, that's the usual way. So in the beginning, I didn't think out of the box, I'm like, oh yeah, rub chrome on it, but it's three-dimensional, it's a little tough. So what I do first is that before I um, rub uh, before I cure this, I will chrome on this too, just to help me out a little bit. And then I'm going to do a second time. So for this chrome, I just lightly dab this. Oh, hello. I just started teaching myself nails last week. I appreciate these lessons so much. It gives me hope and keeps me excited about this journey. Watching from Bahamas. That is exactly what I want to hear. My absolute pleasure, darling. I'm gonna go. In this page, you know, for that shop, it will be packed with all the lesson, or the look that you need. Whatever you want to learn. In the long run, I hope that I can um, teach you how to design. But um, if you uh don't know how to design then still by watching the video it will teach you how to replicate so either if you love to design or if you love to replicate we have uh inf information and the tool you need for either way that's kind of way i feel this you have something to offer to make them happy in whatever direction they choose right to take it Okay, so I am just touching it on, just like that. Okay, you're more than welcome to go over any hole that you want to uh, make it bigger. Nails by Nicole wants to know if that's 3D jelly. No, this is not Nicole. Um, this is clear silicone that I'm using. And he loves it. Mm -hmm. But you know how have to know how to secure it, and I do not use shine it to secure it. <laughs> With this, in order for you to um, top coat this, you have to use chrome base because chrome base is more flexible than tree, um than shine it. Shine it is a hot gel, and a hot gel is very easily shattered upon a surface that are flexible. So for this you have to use a uh, chrome base to secure or a soft gel. Soft gel. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So anytime now. Um, oh, is it that cool stuff that when you poked it, it came back up after it was cured? <laughs> yes, I'm using oh, it. Yeah, that's fine. They're gonna love that. Yeah, it's like rubber. Yeah. And you you can press it. You can you can cut it. Whatever, but it popped right back up. It comes back. Yeah. So like you give this to your kid or kid your, this. your husband and send them along his way and they'll play with it for hours. Oh my God, you guys, it's so cool. Hold on. Before you care, I am going to take the mixer and I'm going to make sure that this is the size nice. Okay, see that? The size, you want the size to be nice. Okay, this size, it doesn't need to because it has low. Cause it's, the design is like that, so it's understandable. But this, the root of it, you want it to be nice. Here. 60 seconds, okay. and then do this one. Mm, this one, just like that. Um, oh, I want to try this. I haven't, I haven't tried this. Um, so I want to try this. I want to rub chrome on it first, and then do the hole just to see the difference. See, a little experiment. Okay, I stepped away for a second and asked some questions. Um, yes, the silicone is new. And then this is Kendall's client. Okay. Where do you get the silicone okay send? Okay. So um, if you go to uh, www.tinovo.shop, you would need to go into the category car gel effect. And then in gel effect, you will find 3D category. So in 3D category, you find silicone. So gel effect and then 3D. Um, so uh, make sure you write that down. Gel effect, click in it, and then click in 3D, and you will find clear silicone. Later on, I will put all my gel in one category called gel. Because before, before I have gel and a few, um, before I have a few uh, effect gel, so I put I put it in the category called gel effect. But now I have I have like a lot of gel, so I don't want to confuse people. So I just put all the the gel ingredient in one category because now I have more like I have glitters, um, I have stickers and all that. So. So I just put all the gel in one category. It's easy for you. Look at that. So you can do that too. Actually, I think that this is a better way so you can see your hole. Because the other way you cannot see your hole. So you can see this hole now because you you put uh, chrome on first. So now, now you can... just answer this. Uh, Tina, why didn't you cure before applying the chrome? Mm, okay. So before, what I do is that I clear the surface and then I grab the chrome on, right? That's typical. But that is a flat surface. This surface right here is not flat, plus it have all this indention right here. So I'd rather, I rather pack it up a little with chrome, get it taken care of. So later on, I put on the second coat of chrome. It would be nice. It would be more curly like this. Plus some of the chrome when you pack it in early, especially down here, because when I put on the second coat, I don't really, I just put on the top. I don't really worry about the side. So now I dab it on the side just because um, if I cannot top coat the side very well, it's not going to chip on me. You know what I mean? Because it's what's on before it's clear. So when it's clear, it's going to further adhere the, the chrome pigment into the gel. So that is my way of doing it. You more than welcome to cure it and then rub chrome on um, if you like, and you will just see. You will just see if it works for you. You stay that way. But if it give you issue, then you can. Uh, you now will know what to do differently. Yes. Yes. Oh. oh. Lucky I didn't ruin it. Mm -hmm. 
weeks and everything. Good, good. The funny part was, was Kim has her client texting you, so now I imagine right now they're, they're, they're together, together watching. I, I love it. You know, if you are now well, because we are not here just for nail tech. We are here for now well too, because I know now well I have nail techs. So, so if if there's something that you want to you want to have it on your nails, you know, by all means, this is a lesson for it. You just copy and paste that lesson, send it to your favorite <coughs> nail tech or press on artist, and to say this is what I want. They will come back with you with a prize <coughs> of some sort, and you work it out, and you can wear. Pretty nails. Really, when you have a happy relationship with your client, mm -hmm. it's such a great union. Now, here this too. So this is out. I should go over it and give it one last rub to even it out. Okay. For a glam octopus, would putting crystal chatons in the holes look nice? Hell yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about crystal satan because it might be too big. You might want to try beet. Beet? Mm -hmm. Try your way first, crystal satan. See how you like it. Uh, if it's too big or whatever, then you go back with beet. So that it will be your second option. The scapegoat. You bump into problems. Um, I think the crystal is too big. Especially when it gets near the end. But that's my theory. I just seen this big in my mind rhinestone octopus brooch. Uh -huh. So I got extremely excited. And I'm <laughs> still excited at the thought of it. Now, are you guys ready to mix this? Now, this right here now is packed with chrome pigment. If you think that this is a finished chrome resort, no, honey. Gotta make it prettier. Okay, now. So I'm getting a sponge. Just if you want, if you want it to be over with this, you can go ahead and uh, top coat it. But I want it to be more chromey. So I'm getting my chrome base. Okay, I'm getting my chrome base coat. I put it out in a palette. More chromey. Mm -hmm. Sponge. On the chrome base, go over here, zoom in, and lightly tap on the surface. Okay, more, more top coat. I'm going to put out quite a bit of top coat. Okay, so on the surface, just dab lightly. Uh, you can use the sponges again. Yeah, especially, use. especially with top coat. Yes, definitely. Okay. I see that I um a little heavy around it, and there's some top coat around it. I can leave it alone or I can wipe it up. But it's just top coat anyway. We all are thinking we like these a lot. Yeah. Here. All right. Another one. If you use colored gel, how do you clean the sponge for use? If you use colored gel, you just take a paper towel and you just keep dapping the sponge till the paper towel take all the gel off the sponge. You're not gonna be able to take off the stain, but you can replace it with another color. That's number one option. Number two option is that if you use a certain color, like let's say black and white, you can uh, take a little box and you can save the chrome in that box. So next time, you can put it somewhere dark to preserve it. And next time, you can just use the same sponge with the same colors in it. 
That's just option number two. Mm -hmm. Keep it out of the light. Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Me, I just toss it because it's like it's like less than a dollar. So I just toss it. Because each one of my techniques that you chrome, I charge a good uh, ten or twenty dollar at least. Oh, honey, we're never gonna get to buy the island like this. No, like like if you do an ombre service, you're gonna charge at least twenty dollar or ten dollar at least. You know, if it really, really cheap, ten dollar, but that's still more than one dollar. So and when I use a chrome, I just toss it. Well, I think a blue neck gold just really yeah. contrasts so beautifully. Cute this. Now I can take gold chrome and I can chrome the octopus. Isn't it La Touch Clamour? Now watch. Yeah. Well, watch. See this gold? You seen this go? Now it's shiny. Now it looks like a piece of metal. Avoid touching the background as much as possible. If you touch the background a little, that's fine. Because when you top coat, you only top coat the, the tentacle. And then you're gonna, you can uh, take acetone to remove whatever it is around it. Usually, I have to make the background chrome free, but this is a 3D surface. So it's easy for me to wrap chrome on without touching the background. Okay, so we'll make it way shinier than it is before. So now I am going to do this one, same thing. The reason why you sponge because if you use in the brush, you will cover all the little hole that is half. The sponge only take care of the surface, not it doesn't fill up all the way down the little hole. So if you use sponge, what happen is your surface will get covered with top coat, so you can chrome on it, but it still look very te texturized. See this right here. Now I am going to secure this. So to secure this, I take a sticky. It will help you adhere to the surface, the chrome to the surface using sticky. So now you can press lightly on the surface. Uh, yes, you will be able to watch the uh, um, live again. How much you charge for a personal class? No, no personal class. Oh, yeah. we're not gonna say that. <laughs> well, like we wouldn't charge for one. Someone would have to offer us an obnoxious amount of money yeah. without offending us. Yeah, if you can and make then pass the test. So if you can make me, um, I mean, of course, everyone have a numbers. I don't know what is my number, but if you can make me teach a personal class, then I will. But you have to make me. But other than that, sense. it's not fair to everybody else. Right. All right. Uh, our class right now is public. So our personal class, it, it got to be like, wow, that's a lot of money. And then. And trust me, I have high standard too. And then we also have to feel like somehow through this, you're going to take and make a lot of other people 
Right. Happy. Right. Justice is about happy. Right. But I will say this. Today, I'm happy. 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 Today, I'm Island. island, a deserted island will deserted make me. Island. It will make me extremely happy. For like a month straight. Yes, will, I will be in debt to you. We will make you learn. Yes, I will. I will. You know what? Give me an island, then I will pass you everything that I have personally, and I will make you get it. I will make you get it. It probably take a month, but I will make you into a Tino so I can I can get <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> to my island <laughs> and retire. Okay, so I am gonna use Chrome Base because I need it to be flexible. Remember? Tired. My ass. <laughs> this one is a hot gel. I use it on flat surface because it's scratch proof. But on this surface right here, this surface is flexible. I mean, you cannot see it now, but trust me, it's flexible. So, on a flexible surface like this, I use chrome base because it's very soft and flexible so it's not gonna have crack you don't want your texture to crack based on the coat that is have uh, you have provided because so far everything that we have ever dabbled with 3d we always applied it and then leave it you know it have color this is a uh a, this is a the first few times when we actually draw and paint and chrome on the 3D surface, you know, so if we, in the past, if I make a rose or a flower, it usually have color already. Right. But we never have chrome 3D ever because then the other gel have to be no wipe and stuff like that. So this alone bit meal in our world mm honey -hmm. hey, good news <clears throat> lady 88 said we have 700 islands in the bahamas let me do some calling around <laughs> and see now i can apply top coat because even though it's cold for the little hole right now okay i can always go in and dig this little hole out if I want, but if I don't do that, I still be able to see the hole because wherever chrome is on, is keep the the uh, the shade and the value for you, so you don't lose it. It's not flatten it out. You still can see the hole. See that hole everywhere. You can see it. Holes. Yeah. So when you come to this point, it's up to your client. Ask your client, do you want this little hole or you want it all smooth? It doesn't matter. Well, you should ask because you know that. Yeah. Becky, do you want you want it to be smooth or you want a little hole? Becky says she like hole, of course. Of course she does. It's like... That's why she's never got stilettos. Right. Gosh, her one almond nail. Her for her pleasure. Becky. I would say this week's Theme could be touchables. Yes, All it is. All you want to touch. It is. I'm big on 3D this week. And uh, I still haven't done with Mitch. Um, Valentine is today, but I still, before I get into March, I still need a couple more fairy and, and dragon and mermaid before I'm ready to do Leprechaun. Kill this. Just the sound of Leprechaun make me dread already. Yeah. All right. So if you have chrome sticking around it, what you can do is paper towel, a stone, and you can just wipe it off. Since you already top coat this, you can just wipe it off. A stone, just wipe it off right here. This gel, even though it's not, it's not as high class as the shanded, still, it's very shiny still. See that? Now, I'm just, you know, just like, you know, using the sugar gels, the white sugar gels. Mm -hmm. And um, so I give them some sugar gel and, and a brush and it does on some sand. Okay. So.
Sarah, let me clean this one too before we move on. So you have learned how to do chrome ombre. You have learned a uh, water surface, which uh, is the new update technique that I have this year. I will, um, if there is an easier way, I promise next year I will come up with easy way. If not, I mean, as, as far as I know, this is the easiest right now. I have full confidence that you will be in love with it when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Now I am move on to sugar gel. Sugar gels. Can we touch it too? <laughs> mm. Okay, so um, sugar gel, I using a oval brush, but it don't have to be. It can be whatever you want it to be. Mm. Okay. Can I wear those out tonight, maybe? What now? Can I wear those out tonight? <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Uh, let me catch up the comment. It seemed like it, it seemed like that. Oh, they like Becky. They like the way I talk to Becky. Okay. So sugar gel. I'm gonna make some sand. So probably uh, like right here. All right, this one's making my taste buds water a little bit. What, what is it? it just seems a little sugary. Sugary for real. I've seen it a minimum. You know, I should always eat before we start these things. Hello, Mama Vic. Hi, Mama Vic. I have to think of a, a pattern for it. I guarantee you, anyone who gets a bottle of this, mm -hmm. as soon as they see it, I'm gonna try to eat they're it. gonna have to smell it first. They'll smell it. At a minimum, they'll smell it. It doesn't smell like anything. Oh shit, then they're gonna taste it. Nothing? Mm -mm. Oh, it doesn't. Mm -mm. This should, yeah, you can apply as thick as possible. It don't have wrinkle and problem at all. Maybe because the sand uh, property in it, but it's very strange. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like I can tear this whole bottle and I swear it'll be all cured. Good. Very strange. Be careful. Because right? usually gel, it, it starts at the, from the outside, it works all the way from the inside. So if you have too much, the inside will be kind of wet. It doesn't work like that with sugar gel. So it's been your personal mission to do away with the wrinkle and make your life easier? In anything you can? Mm, in anything I can, but some gel, you just have to respect its rules, because that is a common rule for gels. Proper application, unless it's 3D jelly or the new product that I will get later on, which I'm not going to reveal at all. I'm done revealing the new product, you guys. <laughs> okay, now, um, before I'm keep going I need to take like the nails and I think they want me to taste it okay I'm doing this just so I can explain for you Kip this Okay, two of these two here. Because that's more than one way to do sand. Mm. 
Okay. The last one looked more like a cloud. I I I thought I was a tip, but it's like kind of weird. I want it to be kind of like a broken land, landslide. Oh, since I'm not a nail tech, but I love the art and the nails, and I always like the comments. It brings a smile on my face and puts me out of five minutes. <laughs> okay, now I want to show you guys a couple way. So I'm gonna leave this sugar gel right here first. I'm gonna leave it right here. So for sand. What you can do is, you can take stained glass gel. See, stained glass gel number nine. Okay. See, stained glass gel number 12. So, you can take stained glass gel and you can stand it. Uh, actually, this uh, Nicole is wondering what products did you use for the background? Okay, okay. The ocean, the uh, water textures. Okay, so I mix brown with yellow together. Okay, and I come in here. Okay, put it on. And if it's too liquidy, you can take Aston and you can wash away a little bit. Okay, when it, yeah, when it all done, you can go ahead and uh, top coat this. Okay, you can top coat in matte. Uh, you can you can use it as a, a texture for the seashell. So applying, if you apply evenly, doing curve like this, and you take the engraver and you do a little stripe here and do this it look like a seashell so uh but now i'm just showing you a sand technique i'm gonna clear this well i gotta say this instantly i went from wanting to eat it because it looked like icing uh -huh. i've eaten sand before and that's no good that's and then how you would top coat this is you're taking a sponge now if you want it to be smooth then you can just you can just lather the top coat on the surface but uh, if you want the look, the look right now is uh, is a sugary look. It have color in it. So if you top coat it, it's still looking look the same, but it's gonna be smooth. But if you want to keep the texture too, then you can just sponge mat it on it, and then get it. The uh, sugar gel have a shelf life. Nope, it doesn't have a shelf life. Only metallic liner have a shelf life. Hear this? So that is how you do sand. But for this sand, I am gonna crump it. But you know, you should never buy a product that you're worried about the shelf life because that means you're not gonna use it enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the only product of mine that have a shelf life is metallic liner. Good, good question. I'm glad you asked because some sometimes people doesn't know. Okay, now. I am gonna you go chrome and I'm gonna chrome the sugar. The reason why I do this because I want it to match my octopus. Um however um you can do this the other way if you want. I just want it to match a team, so I want it to chrome it go, but usually I will uh do the other way if I want to. So just up to you. I just want it to match. The sugar gel does adhere from it does. Obviously. It does. Look how solid it is, you guys. It's crazy. It's really absolutely crazy. Golden sand. Madden this too. Yeah. Okay, uh, Nicole, the product that I used, I started out with shadow so I can chrome this. I used three color chrome. 
I use ultramarine, I use blue, and I use teals. So you can watch over the chrome ombre process. Um, this is my process to make the chrome look really, really smooth. And go here, so see the color of the background from dark to light. Then I secured it with sticky. I stay sticky, I put it on chrome so it cannot hear the chrome and the top coat cannot hear it too. So this is how you keep chrome from chipping. And then what I do is that I use white ink. So white ink, I'm making a marble cloud behind it just to further add texture to it before I use milk. And I use milk to make little circles. As in video, I make little circles, big and small, and fill in the space between those circles to create this water texture right here. So that is my background. Then I finish with one thin layer of stained glass gel number seven. That is a blue stained glass gel. And that's how I create the background. Now, the mat, I am gonna mat this sugar. I'm trying to think of matte or shine. Um, mm. Let's try matte. Since the sand is sandy, let's try matte first. If I don't like it, I can sand it. There you go. I'm normally a lover of matte, but for some reason I feel like shiny is very cool. For the sand? I've just made it out quickly. That shit just turned to sand, man. It's like whoosh. It went from icing to, oh, I ain't need man. Dropped it in the dirt. It is so therapeutic, you guys. Mm. The client just sit there and do it for hours and hours and hours. So the doctor's office driving them crazy. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now. Swing to the side. Let's see. I don't know. Matt is good too. This one's shine to see. I just shine on this one. Oh, I, I, I don't need to use uh, chrome base anymore. I can use shine it now. Yeah, this water texture, I'm so excited because I have been chasing water texture technique for years, years now. Yeah. And I have been through many, many forms of technique, um, many different layers. Many, many a sad, many. lonely night for dust in China. Mm -hmm. I have tried to craft this water technique for years now. So even though the octopus and the sugar gel is fun, but really the trick is a water technique right here, the water background. Every step has to be done precisely. You have to follow the right step, the right movement. Let me see. Oh, the shine for sure. Shine. Shine. Yes. Well, Matt, it have a contract between sh this water and this rocky, right? Yes. But this is all shining. So what do you think, Dustin? I like the shining. Okay. Right. I'm going to put shine on. Time to make wave. Make waves. Mm -hmm. Now, let me just say this, though. You know, if we're shooting for an island... I don't know if we're going to be able to get the golden, golden sand beach. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble effect, you guys. Bubble effect. Golden sand and opal octopuses. Is it my food you have to eat with me? No. Now, when you're adorable. Here you was this morning, out here about 6 a.m., at least minimum. Working on some genius stuff, but I thought, I thought, oh, he got up early. He's out making me a Valentine's breakfast. I just got to stay in here and wait. And he's going to come rolling in with, oh, man. And then the dogs looked at me and said, he doesn't celebrate any holidays. I'm like, damn. Okay. Now, I am going to take bubble effect and make myself wave so I need to clean this palette what is it that you use to put chrome on does it stick to shine it 
what do I use to put chrome on? Um, I use uh, sugar, sugar gel. If this is what you mean, white sugar gel here, and then chrome will be right on it. And then, yes, yeah, shine it. You can push on it too. Um, on the surface, um, on this surface right here, you don't need to like try to secure chrome with sticky. This surface is a sugar surface. Chrome not gonna be able to chip off that surface. In fact, nothing will be able to chip off that surface because it's sugary. It's not a smooth surface. Bubble effect. Mm -hmm. So you can just I've locked up line chrome on the sugar gel. You can just top coat it right away. Now, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take milk. I need milk. So milk top coat. I'm putting out. You can not use solid white gel for this because solid white gel is way too opaque and stainy and and kind of sticky that it will interfere with the bubble effect solution. So you have to put top coat and the white polish out to make it into a milky consistency because then that would be easier for the bubble effect solution to pierce through. Okay, I'm going to wipe up this tool. Well, that's awful sweet. He said, just to let you know, <clears throat> he makes a major difference in so many people's careers. I've heard so many friends say that Tino's the only reason they're still doing nails. Mm. Oh. I'm glad. I can understand because when I first started, um, that is something that I long for is education because back in the day when I started, there's really no education for us. Uh, you have to like go to Russia and hopefully, you know. There's no outside the box yeah. education. But now, the education everywhere. Okay, so you have these mixtures. If you want, you can add more white gel into it to make it brighter. But I don't need to. Um, I mean, if I want, let's let put it on foot just to see. Oh. So I'm going to put some wave on here. Cougar claws, how dare her. Wave right here. Now you pick it up and you just smash it in. You don't stroke it. You just smash it in just to show the, the, the bubbles. Okay, here. I can't disagree with her though. What's that? She said it was like semen. <laughs> Remember, don't stroke it like this. Don't stroke it like this, okay? Don't stroke it like that. You see this? You pick it up. Just one drop of a bubble in, mix it together. And then you just drop it down. Drop it down like that. Just touch and lift, touch and lift. And then I blend the back out a little bit. And not the back a little bit. I would say that all this, everything you've taught today, you actually don't have to be an artist to do it. It's just no. knowing the technique. No. And the steps. A little bit right here. Just a little, not much. And when I'm done, I will show you a uh, slow motion of how I'm mixing this in, just so you don't encounter any uh, problem mixing it. Here it is. Now, I'm gonna wipe this up. I'm gonna show you slow motion on my uh, mixtures. So with milk, I apply it out. And then, this purple effect solution, I have just one drop. Only one. 
not too much. Okay, so you see that drop. So now, I if I take this, okay, and I separate this drop, it become two, right? Those separate again become four. So when you do it, you just basically want to separate the drop, so it become many, many, many drop. That's about it. See that? Yeah. So if you want more, you can add more, but only one drop at a time. If you want, you can add more, a little bit of white gel on there. Oh, <laughs> your octopus only have six arms. <laughs> I know you have eight arms, right? <sighs> what am I thinking? <laughs> he's hanging, we're looking at it from the front, and he's got two. Ah, uh, you are so right. He only has six arms. The other two arm is hidden. Maybe she's gonna the other two arms. Okay, now, now I am gonna take <laughs> Aston. Okay, and I am gonna make sure I wipe this too, even though this milk is no wipe, so it should maintain to be shiny. I just wipe it just in case. If uh, anything go blur, then I can just uh, add gel or top coat on that area to make sure that it's uh, not blurry. So what I do is that I take a sponge. Make sure I clean my sponge first out of top coat. And after this, we have a pretty good question. Now I'm taking art gels because art gel is no wipe. I'm taking art gels. Okay, and take some art gel out on the uh, onto the uh, uh, sponge. Originally, I only plan to have four arms on the octopus because it's not the whole octopus. I just want tentacle all over the nails. But I, I think I figure it needs one more right here. That's why I only have six arms because I'm not doing an octopus. I'm just doing tentacles. Okay, so now I'm taking the sponge. Okay, and this is what I'm going to do. Just lightly dab on it. Very lightly. You like it? Okay. See that? <laughs> These are different. See, you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason why you use a sponge because you don't want to feel the hole. You want to see the hole. Mm -hmm. You brought it out like you believe. You can pick up a, a tool to use if you're not lazy like me. You my fingers. <laughs> it does look like you just dive in. The ocean just splash in the ocean. Yes, you're so. You don't need to top coat. Ready. You don't need to top coat this. Mm. You don't need to top coat it because you know why. It's not high gloss by all means, but it's no why. So I don't need to top coat this. But if you want, you can. Okay, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to wipe it a little bit just to make sure. <laughs> that. Just the whole thing. You like it? Sure. By all means, this is not a beginner set. This is a, a avant-garde set. I'm... I'm Big into 3D this week. Um, however, I wouldn't say that it's really need any skill until you're handling the uh, clear silicone. You do need to be a little uh, cautious and uh, to work with it, but not much. It's not sticky like uh, like 40 sculpting uh, gels, which I will have later on too. That one is a little more sticky and a little tricky to handle, but clear silicone is no problem. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, honey. Tomorrow I have another live. Thank you, Latash Clamor. Oh, Latash Clamor say, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's freaking obsessed. Thank you, Latash Clamor. 
you know that's why I'm dressing. So is it match? Is it match my my dress? Mm -hmm. So this one I'm wearing today for this. Cause I know this is what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm not guessing today. I'm not diving in. That's why I wake up early. Cause I like what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I have established the team, but um, I wear like a, a, like a mermaid mermaid pants, and then like a mermaid neck. So it looked like. Look like a, a ship just capture me. A ship just captured. Yeah, I just get captured by a ship, and I'm wrapping around on net. See it? See, see the see the uh, the 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 look, the pattern. So that's why I wear to do this set. So I it can kind of match me if I have those now on. What do you call it? A, a a mermaid trap. A mermaid trash. A shi shipwreck mermaid. Shipwreck mermaid. And then these are the treasure that the mermaid have. Subtle but even it been captured by the net. The subtle sign. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This is nice. I like it. Um... Thinking about galaxy tomorrow. Um, galaxy. Can you guys, can you guys fetch me some idea, so I can I can see. Can you guys fetch me some? Um, do you guys go out Valentine's Day? No, me. Uh, in Valentine's Day, I don't do anything. I don't do anything Valentine's Day. All year long, we celebrate Valentine. So on Valentine's Day, we don't celebrate it. I'm very appropriate in Valentine. <laughs> Appropriate. Mm -hmm. I'm very appropriate for them. Just on the Valentine's Day. The rest of the year, I don't know. But Valentine's Day, I'm very appropriate. Um, Thank you. Can you fetch me some idea? Because I'm thinking about Galaxy tomorrow. Because I do have something new for Galaxy. Just um, because I have new gels. So, easy way to do Galaxy with pigment. Um, Rainbow, Unicorn, and Sparkle Cloud. Yeah. Sparkle cloud. Rainbow, How I'm gonna do sparkle cloud. sparkle cloud? Chrome cloud. I can do chrome cloud. Mm, sparkle cloud. I have to think about it because cloud, if it has sparkle on it, it should it should ruin the pattern of the cloud. But I, I don't know. I would think about cloud. Uh, of course, rainbow unicorn. Of course, um, alien goddess. Alien goddess. Alien goddess. No, no more Valentine design. No more Valentine. Galaxy mermaid. Um, yeah, galaxy. Galaxy tomorrow. Galaxy. Galaxy Barbie. Ooh. You guys are so often gone now. All this idea that are kind of like all these ideas are coming up gone. I I don't know how to respond. That's 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 good though. That is so crazy. Yeah, yeah. you should be writing this stuff down because we don't Thank remember. God, it. what is all this? Okay, okay, I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. What's all this madness that you guys thinking of? You guys. You, I remember in the beginning the they are so uh, prude with the with the idea, but now it's all the crazy idea. Oh my lord! Okay, let me see. I'm pick out something that I like. Hey Jenny. Oh, Jen, Jen, I, I haven't forgot about the Jen. Um, even though I'm a little defeated on the Jen. Because I come out with two and um, it doesn't make a hit. Uh, so I don't know how people respond to it. Um, like the yin and yang set that I did. And the gen heart, you know, the heart set that have gen around it. I thought it's going to go crazy. But that's really that the word set. So, so I, but I'm still going to teach it to not priority. Let me see. Pisces. Definitely. Okay. Alien goddess. Mm. 
maybe alien, just alien alone. Your black grows on go. I'm gonna teach it, but not on black and go. Um, I, I, the reason why I wait is I wait for you to have this so it's be easier to mix with art gel. You can apply it really thick. Um, yeah, iridescent. I have to iridescent. Probably Louis Vuitton or something. We happen to do a lot of designer this year. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, look, look, Jenny. Look. Oh, look, I'm dressing for it too. <laughs> you like it, Jenny? You like it? I know you want to be here, Jenny. I know you want to cut the sweaters. <laughs> okay, okay, anyway. So, uh, let's see. Satin? Yes. Satin. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, water in nails no 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 aquarium nails because it's old it's so old school but seashell yes and that's something that would frustrate people is trying to get the water aquarium uh, i'm not a big fan it's it's like 10 years ago um greeks yeah greek i'm gonna have to do a lot of thinking on the creek oh probably you my white texture effects to make toga um okay. chain goddess um galaxy that move in the nails maybe maybe hmm. that move <laughs> yeah i gotta think about that for tomorrow mm -hmm. big dress princess vintage dress um no is it vintage dress mm -hmm. oh yeah like you mean on nails? It'd be like a lace, kind of. She okay, lace. She's talking, so we need lace. She's talking about like the, the cool designs they use on it, not an actual dress. Mm, okay. Hi, hi, uh, hi, bam, F baby. Hello, hello. Uh, yes, yeah, spring flower. Yes, please. About time. <laughs> Yes. Um. Tomorrow, get no. Uh. Three. Uh. Texture gels is um. Greek. Greek. I'm gonna use texture gel. Seashell probably texture gel too. Lace texture gel too. Not flower. Um. Yeah. Lace seashell. Oh, the rose is rose. The three D rose. That's where. You take the chance. Um, Milky Way, that's the galaxy for tomorrow. Sea Dragon, I remember Bethany. I'm, I'm not forgetting the Sea Dragon. I remember it. I don't need to write it down. That's one of my big objectives this, this time is dragons. Um, Medusa in space. Yes, in. Oh my God, you are crazy. In space. Oh, I am going to do a lot of thinking on that one, too. Avatar. Oh, I'm so sad. Avatar, I don't think... Sassy Leprechaun. Avatar come out, like, last month. It's Valentine. I couldn't do Avatar. I want to do Avatar, but until now, I don't know if it's special anymore, so I don't know. I'm just going to write it all the way in the bottom. Avatar. Um... Uh, Zeus, Garden Sky, Spring Flower, Bunny. Yes, magic, but mushroom, yes, psychedelic, please. Psychedelic. All right. I have my, my inspo. All right. So, tomorrow I do a uh, galaxy, and then I will carry on. I will take this idea and work on it, sleep on it, and then. And then you will eventually see it coming out on live. Okay, everyone. Lost treasures. Ooh, I like that one. All right, everyone. Oh, lost treasure. Oh my God, you guys are crazy. Lost treasure. I got a chance to to do like um to use all my gold deco that I haven't used yet in a long time. Oh, that's a uh, pirate lost treasure. Lost. Sure. Oh, I wish uh, 
that means I have to do another tentacle. Not not chrome like this. I have to do another kind of tentacle. Um, because it go with lost treasure. And it go with the shipwreck. And it go with the pirate. Um, Dark Tower. Mm. You've never seen you, you would know it, probably. I think gonna why that, that's uh I think one going a while for the last of us. That's fungus. Mushroom, oh my god, psychedelic is totally in you guys. In this season, psychedelic, I have to do it like as fast as possible. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Exotic tropical team. Yes, I have. I have exotic tropical team. My client, give me this. My client, help me with this. So, um, balloon, because that is, we see a little balloon, and she like, little hot balloon, and she like, oh, this is so ugly. Let me see. Let me draw it again. Uh, but she see a little hot balloon, but uh, she say, what if you have a four-leaf clover and um, have like a balloon on it? So like, Oh, Christina, that's such a good idea. So I might do that ish, and then conversation hot, but in green, um, rainforest and frog. So that my client helped me with that. Uh, hot air balloon. Adam family, I would like to wait until uh, Halloween for Adam family. Uh, the leprechaun. Oh, I'm so dread about leprechaun. Um, I'm gonna try to do one leprechaun probably a late night. Probably like the Tomic and K set. Because the Tomic and K set is not popular. It's just impressive and, to do. Well, and it's fun, actually. It's it fun. For some people that may yeah. need to calm down once in a while. Yeah. I would almost say, instead of Leprechaun set, go for a Celtic theme. Tomorrow is 11 a.m. for tomorrow that I will be on. Um, Koi fish, yes, that I have it in. I have it in. Uh, I'm gonna do like uh, closer yin yang thing or colorful. I don't know yet. But uh, Pisces is gonna be a several set. They're gonna be a koi set with dragon and koi fish and cloud. They're gonna be like a uh, chaos and order set, uh, a Gemini set. So Pisces, I'm gonna play with it a uh, couple of times. Um, all right, everyone. Let me see. Let me see. I think I covered it all. All right. I'm out of here. Out of here. I will post this. So you can see it. Love, love, and love. I will be here tomorrow at 11 p.m. See you guys later. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye, everyone. That's me, girl. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to get out here so I can make video content. Sexy fruit set. Yes, I have to do fruit, but mm, no, let's wait till the summer. Let's Sexy fruit. That's like lips going down on a banana with water sprinkles everywhere. Oh. Fish net and cherries. But all the kinky stuff is, is by the time it's over, the rest of the year, if I do kinky stuff, it's, it's a little risky we're, we're for me. Going into sexual summer. No, I'm just playing. Those. Sexual summer. I mean, the rest of the year, if I do anything uh, kinky or sexual, it's risky for me. But Valentine, I can get away with it. So I can get away with Valentine, but I don't know about the rest of the years. Uh, probably Halloween. If there's anything kinky, I say it for Halloween too. I can get away with Halloween too. But that's the only couple of holidays where I can get away with it. All right. Bye bye, Coco Bunny. Bye bye, Bethany. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow, Angelic Vampire. Bye, Mama Vic. Bye bye. That's my girls. <laughs> Let us glam more. Let's see. Bye bye, everyone. Have a good day. Have a wonderful day. Lord of the Ring, Merlin and Magic. Oh, like like a like a oh, European fantasy. Oh, yes. Like, uh, um, oh, hi, Marlin. Oh, Marlin, my favorite, my favorite 
new take Merlin. Merlin is in here. Oh, I have fallen in love with Merlin for a million years already. God, since the day I started, actually. Okay. Mm, what I say, European fancy. Yeah. Fantasy. I might want to do dragon in here just because, so I don't forget. But I, I think I tell myself I'm remembering this. I remember that I always forget. <coughs> I always forget it. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye bye. Fairy tigress. Oh no, I mean, um, tiger. Bye 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 everyone. I will see you tomorrow. And remember, eleven a.m. Bye everyone. Have a wonderful day.